What are you going to show us today, my friend? Um, because we love masks so much. <laughs> we just love them so we much. We, one of these days, we're not going to have to talk about masks I know. anymore. But right now, it is what it is. Yep. So we've got some really cute things mm -hmm. in from Moda. Moda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? They came out with some uh, brand new panels that are actually quite cute. Uh, they are. And what I hate the most about making masks is cutting up my favorite fabric for a mask. It, yeah, that's true. I'm like, I don't want to share this. <laughs> yes. I will probably exactly. never use it. That's but right. It's mine. <laughs> So we want to show you those panels and Jenny is going to do a little how-to for us on how it all comes together. Okay. So, so let me see if we can, let's see. Oh, I can see myself. Let's go over this way. Yeah, this is easier. Yeah. You don't want all that in the background. Good. Okay. Chris decorated. Oh, yes. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we have these cute little packages. And we took it one step further for you guys. Yes. So and not just a panel. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ruby Star Society has come out with this fun little panel of some of their a prints. A bit louder. I have to talk louder. Yeah. Sorry. I mutter. <laughs> um, and it makes 20 masks. 20 masks, my friend. Yeah. 20 of them. Or 10 if you don't want to use lining. But... We have lining in there for you. Yay! And also, elastic. So we added not only the panel, but the fabric for the lining and the elastic. But look how, let's take a look yeah. at some of these cute prints. Look how fun I, those are. I love the peaches. Oh, I love those too. And if you like Tiger King, you can watch oh. that one. <laughs> there you go. We'll make that for McKeeley. <laughs> there you go, exactly. And then, so you have some that are the rectangular, but then you also have some that have the shape already printed on there. So all you have to do is cut it out. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, right? Definitely. So that's the Ruby Star one. And then, and, and this would be... Well, and this would be cute for children, but as well as adults. Mm -hmm. Or like right? your 20 to 30 year olds, the mm -hmm. teachers. Teachers, this would be so cute and for. And it's made on their um, oh, 200 thread count. 200 thread count, which is a... A tighter weave, mm -hmm. and it's kind of silky and nice, so... It, it really is. It's supposed to be... It really is. And what we were uh, talking about the other day is regular cotton for quilting is normally on a 60 count and so this is 200 count so it feels more like sheets yeah definitely. and really honestly if you don't want to make masks i would just cut some of these blocks <laughs> up and put them in something that's true <laughs> they're super cute 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 fabrics and then we also have miss stacy itsu and she always does the cutest stuff oh yeah this would be more for the the little, little kidlets kids. right yeah although you know adults could do it too Let's see. And I know there are eight. Oh, I don't know how many are on this one. There's 18. Eight of them are uh, adult sizes and eight are kid sizes. So yeah. look, like if you know a nurse, that would be a really way. fun one. Let's way. see. My way. Your My way. way. Your way. There, there we, we go. go. Look at that. And thank you. How about hello? Let's go over here. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I must ask you a question. The mustache. And then, of course, we've got how fun for the kids to have, like, the cow's face and the little pig nose. I have a feeling, like, for Halloween, there'll be a bunch of oh, yeah. fun masks. Who even too. needs a costume? Just wear a mask. Exactly. Look, here, you've got a monster. Oh, sorry, I... Yeah, that's cute. Right there. Let's see. There you go. So, um, that's a fun panel. So, oh, how about this one? A zipper. Sometimes we just need to put those on certain people. <laughs> That's right. Oh, the go this way. way. There we go. There we go with the zipper. That's funny. So uh, Jenny's going to show us today how easy it is to uh, make a mask with these panels. Yes, I am. Okay, so I cut them up into just the little squares. And then you can use your lining. I just used the thing as a template, stuck it on top of whatever, cut it out. Um, and I'm sure you, I, I like oh, this one. I like the typewriter one too. 
That's cute. My favorite is, um, I love these little strawberries. Mm hmm Strawberries are fun, and I also love this one. I love that print. I loved this print as it was in fabric, regular mm -hmm. fabric. All of these prints actually come from uh, part collection. of their collection. Yeah. I like the pop models. That was my favorite Oh, one. that's cute, too. I, you know what? I don't even remember seeing these. Oh, I have some. Don't worry. Look how fun that is. I love that. So, and they make a rectangular mask. This one was a sun. That, that's these ones. But yes. then you have the cutout ones, the shaped right, ones. Right, and then too. I made the cutout ones as well. Um, okay. Where'd I put that one? Right here. So they look this. Ta da! Yay! And if you want to, I just learned from Sandra, one of our employees, that if you pleat it right there, um, so I just folded it, it'll make it a little bit smaller. Sorry, I'm too quiet. <laughs> I'll make it to a little bit smaller mm -hmm. for a smaller face. Yes. So um, all I did was cut these out, and I just used a rotary cutter. Just quickly went around them. Um, <laughs> and then I laid it right side down on the lining and cut that as well. So you get to that point, and we're just going to kind of do a really quick um, no sewing. I've already sewn it. Mm -hmm. So you put your, and what's fun about these is you can mix and match. They have their own ones that coordinate, but that's not fun. So I mixed and matched one of them with the blue. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And I can't really take credit for it because they did put it on the instructions, but mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so you sew these two together and also your linings. And then it says to clip them, but Chris showed me a handy dandy little trick. I just took some peeking shears to it. And that will make it so when you open it up. So even if you're not doing masks or you don't mm -hmm. have a need for uh, doing one of these, there's one of your tips for today, guys, is if you have a curved seam that normally asks for clipping, mm -hmm. instead of clipping them, use your peak oh, gosh. shears. And I just pinking shears, guys. Pinking shears. Life changing. Yeah. Who knew you'd ever still use these, but you do. You so do. I just cut around there and I got a nice little edge and it turned out quite nicely. Um, and then what you will do, and it, the instructions are on the panel, so that's kind of nice. And you'll just put them together. And it has you sew a quarter inch on each side, all the way down. Do magic of television quarter inch all the way and then you will sew a half an inch in from your line and just go all the way around the top stop a half an inch here I've already done it so I sewed here stopped right there and then on the bottom you sew again and leave yourself an opening so you can turn it right side out mm -hmm. pick it back up stop at a quarter inch and the reason you do that is so when you turn it Where's my hole? There's my hole. <laughs> <laughs> so you turn it out, and this is when your little tools, like, what do we use here? Chopsticks, two-point turners. RK turning R &K tool. RK turning tools, mm -hmm. all of those things. Mm -hmm. Get your corners out. Um, and then it has you top stitch along this. So obviously smooth it out, make it look nice, press it. Um, and I actually like to press my seams open. Do you? I do. Mm. Before I turn them because then I can get a crisper. Oh, line. line it to. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's a mask. You're going to wash it. Who really cares? Yeah. So. <laughs> Very true. Very true. <laughs> Once you wash these, they're just not as cute. No. Um, and then it has you top stitch from your quarter, like top stitch down here and top stitch from your quarter out. And this will turn in. And I do have what are those little purple things? I have one. Oh yeah, the little purple things. What are these called? It's called a little purple thing. Is it really? It is. <laughs> thang. T H A N G. Thang. Little mm -hmm. purple thing. Mm -hmm. I was trying to do this with this paper clip because that's all I had at my desk. Mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. I found this. Um, so you get to this point, press it out. Now, if it looks big, Betty Jo is saying it looks huge. You can you can cut it to be yeah. smaller. 
And this isn't, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a pretty little person. I wear a kid's hat mm -hmm. size, so it, most things look big on me. But I could probably wear it and be just fine. <laughs> but if you pleat it right yeah. there, it should. Just do a little pleat, a little, pleat. A little tuck. Or just cut, or it, cut, it, down. cut it down a quarter of an yeah. inch all the way around. It doesn't tried. have to be the, yeah. the size that is on the panel. I mean, the sunshine one, that one was huge on me. Mm -hmm. it, I don't even know if it'll fit Mike. This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's so cute. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Some people I love it. need this in their life, I think. Sunshine on their face. Yeah. Okay, and then I just got my elastic. It tells you what size to cut it. Where's my edge? And this little purple thing, which we didn't put online, but we should have. Yeah. Well, a lot of them have the R and K turning tool. Oh, does that have one of these things? Yep. Oh no, it doesn't have one of those. So it no. just hooks that through and voila. Nice. And then you tie it to whatever size you want it, and then just hide your knot in your seam. Perfect. Seat. We do have the drawstring threaders that you could do the same thing. So yeah. This was just in my classroom teaching bag. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever even actually used it, but it was really handy. Yeah. So that's those ones. Did I go too fast? No. Okay. Um, Kathleen was saying, I always, uh, let's see. <laughs> Precast. Precast pre my mask material. I don't know what that means. Maybe pre-cut. Pre and then when they're washed away, they're still cute and not wrinkly. Oh, what does precast mean? I don't know. Kathleen, tell us more. Or, or we must be missing I something. Can. I'm not sure. Um, it tells you the size on the elastic, what to cut it, Betty Jo. But oh, pre-wash. Pre okay. <laughs> Kathleen says pre-wash. Gotcha. There you go. I was go. wondering if that's what she meant. Yeah. <laughs> and this would be a great time that you could oh, use yeah. one of these. Do you guys remember when I talked about these? These are little coffee filters. Uh, well, coffee. I don't know what they are. They're coffee, not coffee filter. We call them coffee bag. Uh, oh, uh, I was like, how things. does that work with coffee? You wouldn't want to stir with it. Okay, no. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> it goes on the bag. Seals it goes on, seals the bag shut. So here you can actually, what I would do is I would cut this in half. We sell these as well mm -hmm. in groupings of 12. You'd cut it in half so it ends up being three and a half inches. And you then, peel this off to reveal a little sticky side. Then you could put it on the in inside hole. of the hole. Yep. Sew around it. Just when you're because just you, to hold it in place. When you're done with this, you top stitch the whole thing. So you could just notch it right there as well. Mm -hmm. when it won't stay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Then it will fit on your nose. Yeah, and then it it gives you a nice curvature. Let's 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 look at Chris. Good sealage. There, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Not to be confused with this. Mm -mm. Yeah, up here. There we go. There. So very nice. It's gonna. If those of you who are having trouble with like your eyeglasses fogging up, oh yeah, this will help. Yep. Forget about that. My oldest son won't wear contacts, so his are always fogged. Uh huh. Exactly. So we have these that you could insert in there. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing this, you would just, before you top stitched it shut right there. Yeah. And just stick it in and. Look how cute this is, you guys. Isn't that adorable? And these instructions say to use ties. I just used elastic and I just yeah. measured it to my face. So, mm -hmm. which I did not on this one. It said if it was for a kid to cut it down a size, mm -hmm. I would probably cut it down a lot. Cause this is almost like the one that will cover your whole face. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, so speaking of, we have a, you know, the shop hop is going on right now, the mm -hmm. Idaho, Wyoming, Utah shop hop. And there's a game that we have called, um, pin the flower on the cactus because our, our theme is cactuses mm -hmm. on this one. And so we we're saying, Oh, what are we going to do for a blindfold? I didn't want to mess with it. So I said, oh, well, that's a good idea. they can just pull your mask up <laughs> over your face. Pull it up. And then there you go. There's, there's your I should have shown you a funny that had to do with masks. It was uh -huh. some college. They had gotten their mask and it was this big. Mm. <laughs> she's like, I tried it the other way. And she kept yeah. wearing it like a, anyway, it was funny. But <laughs> this one I actually made to fit my face. So yeah. That's it's really so cute. It's really cute, yeah. actually. I know. So, again, look how simple these would be that they're already, 
you know, the panel is printed this way. Okay. And you don't have to think about it. And you don't have to no. cut into your favorite fabric. No, exactly. So, oh, I love this one. Oh, that one's sweet. cute. I love that. And the soda pop bottles. Yeah, that's a definite cute one. Oh, and for added bonus, they oh, have yes. these little things right here. You could cut them and make them Barbie masks. <laughs> I think that's adorable. I love that Just like idea. starch them really well because I don't think you'd want to actually sew something this small. <laughs> Tie some string on it. And look, you've just made your granddaughter's day. There you go. Matching masks. Hey, so for those of you who just joined us, let us show you one more time how cute these mask panels are. This is from uh, new from Moda. And uh, again, this is Ruby Star. And you can make 20 masks out of one panel. We have put them together as kits. So included in the kit, you'll get the lining fabric. So we're sending you a yard of the lining fabric. And it's Kimber Bell fabric. Oh, yes, there you go. a whole bunch of it. Yeah. So. Of the hounds too. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have the elastic that comes with it the as Ruby well. The Ruby Star will have the black. The Stacy Itsu will have the white. Perfect. So. so this is the Ruby Star. And then again, this one is the Stacy Itsu. This is so cute. I love it. I think Especially that's for, like, really fun. Littles, littles. Really fun. And then um, we have a Christmas one coming as well. And it, it that delivery is not expected expected from Moda until November. So we're not selling it yet, but know that that is coming. Okay. Okay. So let's take and a it's look. Darling. It's like little elves. Oh, it is so cute. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, we have to get this. Yeah, <laughs> it's really cute. So here's um, a few pictures for you of some of these fabrics. Let's see. I made my father-in-law the egg one for his. Did you? He's like, I got egg <laughs> on my face. <laughs> so there's the panel that you can see a little bit more, you know, up close. Really fun. And here are the masks. Oh, there we go. Let's pull that out. Cute. Look how cute those are. And right? It looks like they pleated them maybe differently. Uh, maybe so there's a couple more pleats in them. Or they went You out. can make them, you can, really, you could just make them as big or as small as you mm -hmm. want. But these, let's see, these are the ones that are coming for Christmas. And I'm afraid that's what we're going to be doing for a while. Yeah. So you might as well embrace it, right? The ugly right? sweater one. The ugly sweater? <laughs> Which wanna, one's that? Well, it's that one. Oh, 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 yeah, the ugly sweater fabric. Yep. So cute. So I love that. Same. So that comes in November. 